Hello friends, we're here in the Philippines overlooking the Tahal Volcano and Lake, which is one of the most interesting pieces of geography in the whole world. For one thing, this great caldera was once the biggest volcano in the world, and now it holds a lake that holds another volcano that has another little lake in it that has another little island in it. This volcano has erupted six times in a major way since the 1500s. And even in 1911, there was an eruption where over 1,300 people died, killed by the smoke and the ash that covered the community. There were tsunamis that came from the lake and destroyed the villages that surrounded the borders of the lake. In fact, this is one of the most carefully monitored seismic places in the Philippines. This volcano is being watched all the time. And they've noticed as of 2006 that it appears that the water temperatures are going up. There's increased seismic activity. In other words, they know that this volcano is a ticking time bomb prepared to blow. And it's very interesting because this place is a place of great seismic activity, but in spite of the fact that volcanologists know this is gonna blow again someday, it is a popular tourist destination. They're fighting for the real estate. They're building like mad and sit on the edge of disaster. It makes us think about how God has given us so many warnings in his word that the world is going to end, that Jesus is going to come, that the heavens will dissolve with a great noise and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Seeing then that all these things will be dissolved, what kind of people should we be in all holy conversation and godliness? Friends, are you becoming distracted with the tranquil views of the world or are you preparing for the next world? Are you getting ready for the Big Bang?